I can't stand not being with this game. It's just... Oh. <laughs> There's something about this game that has just got me excited. You know? And that should say something. That's good, you know? In case you forgot where we are. I mean, I don't even know when this is going up. You know? You know? Give me a hot minute. I'm too cool for school, baby. <laughs> I'm very good at this. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get to this in like a few minutes. I gotta... I gotta, gotta warm up those lungs, you know. Take it easy. Life's about taking it easy. Hot ziggity. Let's go. One month now. Five to go, and I found myself in a predicament. I'm enjoying my time with Fang. Most of the time, just talking about stupid shit, like our mutual love for Waiofu and comedy movies. We are both ventriloquists, ventriloquists, ventriloquists. We are both ventriloquists and we practice everything. What? He carries a basket. Oh. What the hell? Wire Fu is like Kung Fu, but they use like wire uh, for like the stunts and all, right? That's the idea? Almost every day now, I'm either at a desk helping her in science or working on a lab with her. She's set next to me to crypting the magical, mystical arts of not sucking at music. I love how... And despite the fact that Fang has been, like, tried to do the non-binary spiel, he's never got anywhere. He never got anywhere. What an idea. I'm talking with her more than anyone I've ever talked with. Not to mention lunch and after school. It's this hiding from the tangerine tyrant and Nasa these days. And all spending time with Fang and me. Also, things are changing. It's been a month. Even if he's constantly changing. Yeah. Yeah. And smells of birds. <laughs> Be nice. Reed is trying his best. The fuck is he on anyway? It's the carve, bro. Why was I re do <laughs> why was I doing my recollection in front of you, Reed? This this is supposed to be a private occasion for people. You can't interrupt a man's recollection of past events. You fool. Car car fentanyl. I'm not a druggie, whatever. Fang and the gang <laughs> are pretty all right. What about Trish? Yeah, yeah. Trish, though. Every day she gives her the same look of distrust and that... <sighs> put upon sigh. As if I'm some sort of chore to deal with. Well, I mean, admittedly, I don't know what you want. Yeah. Whatever, it's not much like matters in the long run. But I find myself having these weird thoughts lately. Of smooching. Illegally. Under the floorboards. Like, is any of this real or not? I stumble backwards. Off the stage. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Dude, if you're going to do a recap, at least have some safety per code. I love how I read it. Like, what the hell, dude? We, we don't have a railing there, but you got to be aware of that stuff. Ow. Bro. That sucks. It's lunch time now, and I guess I dozed. <laughs> don't doze off during your recaps. Too many late night study sessions. You like, uh, need help? Did you have the sex? You gotta tell me if you had the sex you got. You have to. I'm not a cop, but you have to tell me. I don't, I mean, you're not a cop. <sighs> Just fix the projector, Reed. Okay, almost done. What the fuck can't Reed do? I am all onto my feet, feeling out the bruise blossoming on my shoulder. Things are going up. We had a big dramatic moment, but it seems that our relationship with Fang has survived. What a beautiful relationship this is turning out to be. Uh, stupid fucking stage. I consider jumping back up, but find the stairs up more appealing. Yeah. I mean, it's cool to, like, jump onto chest-high walls and all that fun stuff, but come on. Ooh! How did you not see her coming? Going up the stairs, Trish suddenly grabs my shoulder and pins me to the wall. She leans in close, looking at me. Dead in the eyes. For a brief moment, I thought it was for sexy things. But then I remembered that she has a knife and tried to kill me last week. <laughs> uh, can I help you? Don't play dumb. Something's up with Fang today. 
She gestures to where Fang is sitting. Fang, for some reason, is still folding paper tigers. She claims she'll raise an army to defeat the entire school. I've told her that it would never work, but one of those paper tigers did steal my lunch today. <laughs> Fang's picking at her lunch with a fork, not eating a single bite. Now that I think about it, she's been quite distant today. They've been like this since Brian practiced yesterday. Wait, what? Did you do something to them? Like, I... I really do love that Anon seems to not give a shit that everyone is like... Like, even Nasser is like pulling out the thems. And he's just like, no, what ha, ha, what has Naomi done? Naomi's used them, right? I, I kind of forgot. Do something? What does she mean? She doesn't think that Fang and I... Exchanged... Uh, street pass information. <laughs> I pull out my DS and prove that we have not, in fact, exchanged the street pass information. Why? What? No. I don't think, at least. It might have happened while we were in the chat room. You know how Nintendo is. They, they forcefully exchange all those personal details. I might, in fact, have a New Leaf Town on my... And he checks his device and he has the New Leaf Town. And that's where the real Act 2 begins. Man, I love how pissed off Trish looks, though. Apparently, in Goodbye Volcano High, originally, when she was younger, she had, like, the whole hair. Which... Ow. Why are you so concerned? Everyone has a bad day now, every now and then, right? Except for Anna, who had like really shitty early days. <sighs> Fang and I have been friends for ten years now. Not once have I seen them this upset. But, like... Recently, we, we, we told Fang, like, by the way, we laughed at you when you were having your big show. Why wouldn't that be the thing that stuck with him? Oh, by the way, I just remembered something. Like, not to undo the damage, but I legitimately think that if I personally... Like, that feels like a more important moment, or is that just, like, resonating? It has been simmering in the back of Fang's brain. You're the only new thing around here. It can't be anyone else. So? What did you do? I swear I haven't done anything with Fang. We've hung out in class and all, but... Look, we have gotten music next. I'll ask Fang what's up then. Trish glowers, and we both glance at Fang to see us sitting there with our untouched food. Considering that they're in the auditorium hanging out for some sort of band-associated thing, that, that's gotta be awkward, right? To just sit there doing nothing when it's all there? You'll talk to Fang? You'll probably make it worse. I should be the one to talk to them. By the way, for Trish, I'm going for something more nasal. Get it? Because she has a nose horn! So why haven't you? Trish's mouth shuts with a click. I stare her down. Oh no! There's a... There's a shit! I, I, I spat on my screen. Eee! Go, tiny cloth. Thank you for your services. Her eyes harden and she finally speaks. This this LP is so scuffed and I'm honestly and madly in love with it. I love how scuffed this is, how much fun I'm having. This LP is my crying moment. Just having a good time. I love those. They are rare, but they are fantabulous. <sighs> Fine, but you better not fuck up. Actually, it's not nasal. I'm going for the back of the throat for that one. No, not back of the throat, but like up back. Near the nose, I guess? She lets go of my shoulder, stuffing her hands in her jacket pockets with a huff. I finally return to where I was sitting on the stage to continue finishing my lunch. Right when I plant myself on the ground, Trish Reed speaks up. I'm done. Done? With the projector? That's right, man. Now we can watch movie shows, pornos, all that. Reed, for God's sake. I don't think the four of us can agree on the flavor and styling of pornography we should be watching during lunch. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to get two people to agree on that? <laughs> That'd be something Anon would definitely be able to answer the question to. <laughs> also, besides the fact that you're in the middle of lunch hour, you should not be turning on the pornography. Don't. Because, one, it'll be over too quickly. Two, you'll look at your lunch and go, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> and finally... I don't even know if Trish is into this. Like, Fang and Anon have the thing, and Reed doesn't give a flying fuck. But I think Trish would bounce off of that idea and go, What the fuck are you on, Reed? Please stop eating the weed. And start eating stuff. Also, I figured out what Trigger is about, and I don't like it. I shouldn't have said it, but I said it, and I'm not going to edit that out. This is just this is just part of the scuffness. But I, 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 I got to be honest, I didn't see it. But I knew something was up. Like, I get it, right? She's got the curly hair and all that. We are not watching porn. That is... Trish, there are three kinds of answers. Four kinds of answers you can give to let's watch porn at school. In terms of... Also, just want to point out, he says pornos. 
and she says porn. Th those are different ways of saying it. But here's the thing. There are four ways you can answer that. One is, what the fuck is wrong with you? Please don't ever suggest that ever again. That's the most normal people who, you know, don't have it. Then there's the, dude, no, no, who are just disappointed that you bothered to bring it up. Then there's the guys who are like, they might be okay with it, but they feel awkward doing it with people they don't have that kind of relationship with, and they're like, no, no just no, thank you. They'll be a bit more apologetic towards the end. And then you get the people who are into it, and they would do it, but they know that it's either A, everyone else is going to judge them, or B, someone is going to figure them out. And they're like, yeah, but no. <laughs> the four degrees of saying no to watching porn on a projector. Why was the projector broken at all? Why is Reed the one fixing it? No, but that ad. <laughs> Anna. Trish doesn't need to know what you do. Oh. Ooh. Yeah! I got lemon. I got orange. <laughs> Agent Orange deployed. Uh, so, what do you guys want to watch? We can watch that awful Game of Thrones show, like when it got bad, because I don't have the good episodes. I can't think of any of that it would be appropriate for right normal. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Not a goo all over my, my mouse pad. So, like, I, I guess anime would be a bit awkward, but to be honest, with these characters in your class, I think anime is a perfectly acceptable answer. Trish raises her hand and jumps in place. How about the Count of Monte Cristo? Oh, I know that one. The actors in that one are pretty great. Why are they all rock throwers, though? Or spear huggers? Oh, yeah, I love the view. Trish and Reed stop and stare at me. Oh, God, they were talking about the actor movie with the people, with flesh and blood. Not like pornography, but like flesh and blood as in actors who are people who happen to stand on the stage. Actually, I don't know much about the Count of Monte Cristo. I just know that it's a thing people have said in my life. And I love that they're both very awkward about this. Crap, what's, what's something I said? Yeah, you fucking clown. You're that weirdo who sits in class and everyone is talking about Hamlet. And you're like, you know, I really love the animation studio that did the, the, the Hamlet. And it's like, we're talking about Hamlet, the Shakespeare piece, man, not Hamlet. the. And then you go, listen, the only way you can save yourself. There's only one way to survive that encounter. You have to grasp for your chest and go, oh, I am slain and fall stage right. It's a good line. It's a good line. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I saw an adaptation. Uh, of it, of, of Hamlet. And I just couldn't stop giggling about, I am slain! <laughs> it's such a dumb line. Uh, I know why they say it. It's because actors on stage, you can't actually kill an actor on stage. So he has to announce, by the way, this has killed me! So that everyone in the back, so that, so that the boys in the back and the ladies in the front know what's up, and the MBs in the middle, they, they got a 50-50 they got shot, but you need to help them a little bit. You know, meet them halfway, because they're in the middle, get it? <laughs> I'm very good at this. If you want to know more about the boys in the back, the ladies in the front, the MBs in the middle, and the awkward don't fit in any of over there, um, there's a Celeste episode that's like 99%. <laughs> this, ep this LP is going to kill me with how much I'm going to regret it 10 years down the line. But you know what? It's one of those regrets when I'm 50 years old. Mm. I'm going to be 50. Right, I'm going to be like 50, 60 years old. Who knows if I'm still doing LPs if YouTube is still around. I'm going to look back at this. I'm going to look back at this, and I'm going to go, you know what? That was a magical time. <laughs> that was a magical time. <laughs> Can't blame them. Crap, was it something I said? What? Did... It doesn't. It never fails. Because it's all right, cause I'm saved by the. It's all right, cause I'm saved by the. Bail Zach is a god. Don't underestimate him. Yeah, he said it. This LP has officially reached platinum. <laughs> Come, if you don't watch this LP, I will be slagging behind your back. I will call you a weenie. I looked at Fang and uh, uh oh, when did she leave? Ah, oh, Fang left already. I'll go catch up with her. Bye! I, 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 I love how <laughs> Reed is spacing out. I remember a time out of the auditorium leaving a still confused Trish and Reed. Actually, I kind of think Trish, I just think Reed should know. Reed seems like the kind of guy who would know about anime and stuff. 